This is never a good way to start your day. What in the hell? <laughs> there are buzzards on my roof. Trying to figure out what they're eating. We got a lot to cover today, so hold on, Doc. Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing a fall scalp, which is something you never do. You always scalp your lawn in the spring, but there are three main reasons why I'm gonna do it. Let me cover them for you real quick. Number one, uh, we're testing a new product. It's sort of a tweak to our super juice, and we've got some cold weather moving in. Highs in the 70s, lows down into the high 40s. So it's gonna replicate spring. So I figured, hey, let's replicate this and test this while we have the opportunity. Number two, um, we have tropical storm Michael coming up and we have a whole week of rain. And my lawn is my lawn is long. I'm not gonna be able to cut my grass probably for the good seven, eight days because it's gonna be flooded out. So I said, ah, let me go ahead. Another good reason to scalp it. Number three, <laughs> The field of death, I call it. We have had a horrible problem with army worms this year. So I've been out here treating and treating and treating. Last night I came up with a little super mix that I made up and man, there's just dead moss everywhere. And that's where the, the vultures are in, I think. I think the vultures were actually up on my roof eating dead moths is what they were doing. Well, let me show you why I think that. Moth. 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 <laughs> this is moth. 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 Look at this. Moth. 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 Dying moth. Moth, 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 moth. Oh my God, <laughs> this is insane. I mean, I gotta do something. So this is another reason why I decided to scout. My lawn is really, really, really thick. It's super thick Bermuda. It's long, it's, two, it's close to three inches in some areas. I gotta wipe this problem out. I'm gonna show you a product that, a uh, Dilux that I'm using. We're going to be treating the lawn with because this has just got to stop. <laughs> um, it's not just my problem, it's the entire neighborhood problem, which means that um, I'm going to have them no matter what because everyone else has got them, so I've got them, so I'm battling this. So, another good time to scalp. Anyways, I told the crew to come on over. This is just way too much work for me to do. Um, the grass is going to be a little bit wet. I want them to bag it and I want them to take it down really short, maybe about to maybe about an inch compared to three inches. So we're going to be pulling a lot of dirt out of here, a lot of grass out of here today. Uh, I'm walking the girls, getting the girls to walk right now so that uh, I can lock them up inside during this whole thing. So we're going for a ride today. Hold on. Keep going, keep going. It's gonna be ugly, it's gonna be ugly. I know, trust me, I'm the king of ugly. We got a whole crew here, we got two main tractors, we got a guy raking, we got a guy edging, and we're taking this down. 
up. Feels so good to have short Bermuda again. It was way too long for what I wanted to do. There they go. Taking off. And there's my new ugly lawn. That's what we got left. Isn't that pretty? Go look at the back. Look at that mess. <laughs> Is that ugly or what? So we've taken this. This grass was probably up close to three inches, and we've taken it down to some spots are three quarters of an inch, some are one inch. But uh, it's pretty darn ugly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come back here. We're going to spray this. We got a ton of rain coming in. So it's good that I did this anyways. So we're going to come back here. We're going to spray this with this new super juice formula that we're testing. And uh, see what happens. You know who's going to love this short grass? <laughs> the girls. <laughs> Watch this. They're going to freak out. I'm going to let them out. They love, for some reason, maybe because especially Linda's little one is little. But uh, this will be funny. Watch this. They're not used to this. <laughs> there they go. Loving the short grass. Okay, so I'm kind of rushing because we have a bunch of storms coming in this evening. Then we have that tropical depression. So I want to get this stuff on the lawn quickly. So I'm using a modified version of this new formula of Super Juice. Super Juice is on the website. I'm talking fast because I want to get this out. So uh, you mix up the Super Juice, spray it on your lawn, has iron, has dye, has everything you need inside of it complete. So what I'm doing is I'm using the new Hudson sprayers. Now I put a link to these on the website. These do not have a control valve, so you can't regulate the flow on these. You have to figure out, you have to calculate how many bottles of this does it take to do my lawn. For me, I'm guessing 20,000 square feet, I'm guessing probably good 10 bottles if I put a heavy application on. So I've mixed up a big juice, a batch of super juice, uh, and I'm going to spray it on real quick.
All right, so one of the things that people always ask is, you know, how do you understand the flow rate of that bottle system? And so what I do is um, I did a square out here and I'm gonna pace this off so you understand the volume that one bottle will cover. It's only 26 ounces, these bottles are not 32. They're only 26 ounces. And I like to take my time. So what I do is I, I, I dilute my super juice. I make the, the right amount that I need, but I dilute it so that I can take my time spraying. So if I only end up with about a gallon of super juice and I need two or three gallons, I'll just add water to that so I can slow down and take my time with it. So uh, let me go paste this off real quick and measure it. Okay, so just like the last time, one bottle going slow, spraying sort of up in the air. It's a lot real windy today. Um, about 1,500 to 2,000 square feet per one of those bottles. That's about. So if I have 20,000 square feet, I got to mix up 10 to 13 bottles worth to spray my entire lawn slowly going back and forth, hitting all the edges, and that's a realistic way to judge how much you need. So you take that times 26 ounces, divide that by, was it 128 ounces in a gallon? I forget. Um, and that's how you sort of calculate it. And, and that's the way you just dilute down your mixture to the point that you have enough bottles. You can see, I think you can see the blue line up here, but this is why we put in the blue dye, because you can see a distinct blue line right there of where I stopped. I'm not putting a lot of blue dye in. I'm not trying to make my lawn, I'm not trying to colorize my lawn, but I wanna know what's been sprayed and what hasn't been sprayed. So I can see everything in here and then bam, that line sort of drops off. See if you can see that. There's that blue line right there. And you can see that. Makes it so much easier and tells you if your, if your spray bottle gets clogged. So anyways, I'm gonna stop video recording for a minute. Uh, I gotta kick butt, I gotta get this down because I want this down and I want it to be on it before the thunderstorms hit tonight. So I'm gonna kick butt and run around and spray this. It's really too windy to be out here doing this today, but one thing you can see is I'm holding my nozzle when I use these. I like to spray my nozzle up and let that fine mist fall down rather than shooting down on the ground. <clears throat> also, if you do have a breeze, use that breeze to your advantage. My wind direction is coming this way, so I'm on this side, spraying this way, come back, spray this way, come back, and you get that fine mist carry over into the rest of the yard. But uh, Really, it's almost too windy because we got a chance of thunderstorms, so I gotta get this out. So you can see the clouds in the background. Hoping it holds off just for a couple more hours, let this stuff dry a little bit. But you can see the light green haze on the lawn. So that's all done. Taken down pretty short. So uh, what's the point to today's video? Well, number one, don't scalp in the fall. It really isn't something you should not do. I'm taking kind of a risk here because we got cold temperatures coming in, a lot of rain. <clears throat> but mainly what I wanted to do is, is um, I'm really battling this, this army worm issue because, and the reason why I'm battling it is because no one else is battling it. I'm the only person in my neighborhood spraying for army worms. I don't think anyone knows what they are. So uh, I had to get rid of that big thick canopy just to sort of fight this army worm problem and to do the testing with the new super juice. So I've sprayed the entire lawn with super juice. We're gonna have chance of thunderstorms the next couple days. We're gonna have the tropical storm possibly hit us on Thursday. And uh, we'll see what happens. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a follow-up video for this. Depending on the weather, I'll probably do a follow-up video probably in about five days, seven days, just to show you what kind of growth I've got, but I'm not gonna have a lot of sunshine, I don't think, so it's gonna be kind of weird. So don't forget, link to the super juice is on the website. Uh, you can still put out the organic fertilizer. It's still a good time to put out organic. You still got another good month of growing season, but definitely put out super juice. If you wanna put out some humic, put out some humic, and uh, click that subscribe button because we are giving away what? 
We're giving away a year worth of lawn supplies to one subscriber. That's coming up right around Christmas time. But you got to be subscribed. Uh, do me a favor. There's a hate button there. Push it. Ah, just keep. <laughs> like the video. Hate the video. I don't care. Click one of them. Make a comment down below, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Done.